Alrighty, <clears throat> welcome to the stream. This light is very bright. I want to... Much better. I just realized my music score is not open yet. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> um, we are, as the stream title says, we are starting a new track. If you haven't heard the finished product of the previous one, that'll be on my YouTube soon. I say soon. Um, it's like, I think at the end of next week is when it's scheduled to go live. Um, feel free to listen to that. <clears throat> that having been said, we need to decide on what kind of piece we want to write. Kind of matters. <clears throat> um, so, let's get right into it. <clears throat> Orchestral, like we usually do. Um, do we want like a celebration? Do we want like a fight scene type of music? Do we want sort of... Um, I've gone into this blind. Normally I have sort of an idea of what I want to create. It might be safest to just go with a classical orchestra. That gives us a little bit of a brass section, though not much. <coughs> but we get our strings, because of course... And we get some percussion. <clears throat> I think. What about trying to do an anthem? Let's okay. Let's do classical. <clears throat> um, okay, I didn't. I was supposed to go to the next screen, which would have allowed us to put in our time signatures and things like that but I think 4-4 four is okay if we need to adjust tempo we can do that later <coughs> now <laughs> let's see what we can do here um, so Okay, I, I was going to do like a joke and write in the first few bars of like a Superman theme or something, but that's likely going to get me a copyright strike, so we, we won't do that. <clears throat> uh, what we will do... Okay, let's get a good C chord going first. Uh, this is not very loud either. <coughs> I want to be able to actually hear what I'm playing. Mm -mm. I want to go... That's what I want. <coughs> give us a C, give us a... And maybe a G here also. Yeah. <coughs> so we could make... A bit more rounded. Um, if we wanted to, like for effects, we could actually put a C, I'm gonna see a, a timpani beats in there, but I don't know if that's necessary. I need a melody. That's the thing. I need a melody. Mm. 
Okay, got a slot idea. Yeah, okay. Uh, we need to pick up our... <coughs> so, what... Hang on. Oop. <coughs> Don't worry, this will this will make sense in a second. So that becomes a whole note. Um. So we, in that case, we actually want this to be a G. I think, come on, would you please unclick? Thank you. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> but then we need to bring this, um, only needs to come in at this point, we'll put in a timpani beat, um, oops, it's a bass clef, okay, <clears throat> we will put in a, I almost want to put a crash on there to be honest, oh, confuse my nose, uh, wind, um, uh, woodwinds we don't need yet. Uh, what I do want to do is add a bit more volume. What? Oh, uh, hang on, because it's got to be a whole note. <coughs> um, I'm wondering. Okay, I think what we do What? <coughs> yeah, make this an octave then, so we add Ah. <coughs> so we sh okay, hopefully this works. Okay, other thing is that's obviously not quite correct. <coughs> Do we make this? I think it's going to sound better if we make this half notes. <coughs> okay. Okay, wrong notes, but you get the points. got something <coughs> we do need as per usual an accents on the symphony there we go so 
So yeah, now suddenly you can hear that timpani. <coughs> the timpani kind of needs to sort of um, cut through, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so let us... Okay, that should work. Mm, something isn't quite working with that chord. It's something in the trumpets, I think. That note. That's what we want. <clears throat> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. That's okay. Uh, no thanks, it's fine. <coughs> um. <coughs> yeah, let's double check my timing here. Um, that's the start of the phrase. I'm kind of wondering. <clears throat> I must be honest. I'm kind of wondering if we shouldn't simplify this start. We've got like a f full orchestra going on here, but we don't need to. What the heck is this?
That was weird. My phone just loaded an app without me wanting it to. <clears throat> Give me two minutes, folks. I'll be right back. I swear, I did not touch anything. I got a video suggestion on TikTok and the video just auto-played itself without me having to touch anything. It, it just started playing. So that's interesting development. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> not quite sure what to make of that one. All right, anyways, <clears throat> let's get back to the uh, music. Okay. Oh yeah, we were gonna cut basically this stuff. See how this sounds. Get rid of the timpani. This is like later on once we've built up to it. I think we okay for now. Why can't I? Okay. Um, yeah, let's put this like here for now. <coughs> Just put it somewhere safe. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now we just need some Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to have strings playing. <clears throat> We're literally just going to have all of our horns. Or what we do is this. We do this. Hang on.
Well, somebody just followed me and it didn't show up on my... Jin Nissa, welcome in. Thanks for the follow, mate. Appreciate it. <coughs> Obviously, stream elements is not working, but whatever. Uh, see. See what that sounds like. Yeah, we're just going to do this. <coughs> Wait, let's put in a timpani. <coughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> this is what I... I used to stream um, uh, retro games. I used to speedrun Contra. And now this is what I do for a living. Um, part of the reason I stream is it motivates me to write music. Um, right now... I think that's working. Okay, <clears throat> right now we're working on something new. I don't have any specific game in my mind, but this is just kind of just messing around, coming up with something <coughs> useful, hopefully. Uh, it goes up to that bar, so let's... <clears throat> All right, so let's have a listen from the start. <laughs> well, let's see how this goes. Yeah, well, I'm trying to. Um, I don't have any uh, contracts yet. I haven't, I haven't really sold anything yet, but um, uh, this is what I've been doing. I've been making music since I was a child. <clears throat> um... Yeah, this is, I, I learned, this is what I studied, you see, so I figure, uh, what I'd like to do, right now I'm sort of making for um, indie devs, because often they can't really afford to hire a composer, and so this gets my name out there, hey, cool, be great. <coughs> um, right, we need to continue the melody. I feel like at this point we bring in the cellos. Notice how low a cello can get, by the way. Come up with game dev streamers. No, not at the moment. Um, Cellos can get really low. I'm almost tempted to put that in the start here, but let's just see. <coughs> I am part of a. There's some fairly cool. Yeah, so I am part of a um, just a, a Discord server where they connect. Um, they connect game devs with streamers so you can test their games and also uh, content creators uh, such as my, so myself who do arts or who, who do music so um yeah that that is one of the things that i'm a part of i'm going to hear this again so i can get the context for what the next melody is going to be Well, the next note definitely needs to be, uh, I don't know if I can reach that though. No, darn it. 
But that's like a whole note. Um, do you play any instru instruments or do any um, composing? Um... Is that the correct timing? Hang on. <laughs> Piano and a voice. Okay. Well, <clears throat> probably play the piano and my voice is debatable, decent. Look, uh, when we get later on into this piece, you're going to notice that what my string section is doing is essentially the chords you'd play in your left hand. I mean, because I've got, okay, if you ignore the um, uh, violins, because they tend to be melody and um, counter melody, but essentially I'm playing triads. Uh, what I find is my basses will tend to be the um, uh, root notes, cellos the third, and violas the fifth if I'm making sense. So you're basically taking a chord and the notes that make up that chord and you're putting them into each different bar. That's that's what the strings are doing. <coughs> I mean, violins are a little bit more complicated because we, like I say, counter melodies and harmonizations and stuff, but... That should be a, th okay, the timing is off here. That should actually be a that. And then that note's there. The quarter note, that's that G should be in that bar. <coughs> Ads, oh shucks. Sorry about that. Um, two. Are uh, you are back? Cool. <coughs> Is that okay? Let's check the timing here now. Yeah, we're going to do a, um, yeah, hmm? no, 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 you don't have to apologize. <coughs> we need a four. How much uh, did 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 you miss? Um, was I talking about strings when you when you got that ad break? <coughs> um. That happens to be perfect. That that was a fluke. <laughs> okay. But that means we need <coughs> that. Okay. Now, okay, it actually wasn't perfect. This was not quite, you missed strings. Okay, so what's happening 
<clears throat> no, that's wrong. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Uh. I want to copy onto there, not... Oh, whatever. Put that back. Oh, uh, that's what's happening. Okay. Um, uh, what I was saying with strings is that if you can play piano, the chords that you play in your left hand, Drumlacht vibes. Cool. I've never heard of that. I'll have to look it up. Uh, yeah, if you can play piano, the stuff you're playing in your left hand is generally what these three guys here are doing. Um, double basses, cellos, and uh, violas. <coughs> um Right now, because we're still building up the piece, uh, my double basses and cellos are playing the same note, just an octave apart. But that's how you do strings. Uh, violins and second violins are a bit more complicated because it's melody and counter melody, or at least it complements the uh, melody which right now is being played by the brass section. But yeah, that's... There we go. <coughs> so let's have a listen. Okay, that timing is not working <laughs> out. Um, oh, that's why. <coughs> because a writer in a Dutch amusement park named Efteling, they have really good music on there. It's cool. I'll take that as a compliment then. <coughs> this needs to be a... that delete that I guess what I want <coughs> oh, and then the other thing is we need to do that um, I thought so is there any other sort of um, Yes, there is one thing missing, and that's our timpani. <coughs> Which comes in over here. Point of fact, a timpani is a tuned percussion, so you have to put it in the right note. So that will... Like this. Now, it feels like it's coming in too soon. It really feels like this does actually need to be there. <coughs> So, and then this no longer needs to be a tired thing. It can just be a straight, um, <coughs> what the heck is going on here? No, okay, hang on. I've messed up this whole thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, we've still got our... <coughs> oh, that's what's happened. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Everything is... Okay. It's because of this. What? Yeah, that's fine. Because we changed this now to... Okay, there we go, fixed. 
<clears throat> so do I. I love it. So this software I was using what like ten years ago, but it didn't have the um, the 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 sound that uh, what do you call it the um, AI that controlled the sound. AI isn't really the correct word, but you get what I'm saying. In those days, it was terrible. It, it just sounded like samples. Now. Like they factor in taking breaths and stuff, for instance. So you can't. So in strings, I can hold this note forever, because you can just keep on bowing. But you can't. Well, sort of. Anyway, with a brass instrument, though, you're gonna run out of breath. I mean, I suppose circular breathing is a thing. But point is, they take that into account. <coughs> they play it as if a human was playing it, which is makes it sound beautiful. It's called uh, musical. Let me <clears throat> it's good software um <clears throat> why is this that's weird it should be that. a bit of house cleaning <coughs> <coughs> yeah okay all right let's just okay It is free, yes. Two. Mm. Okay, I think the solution <coughs> is that. I think that's the solution. So we're going from Okay, that'll work. <clears throat> Bringing out symphony, <laughs> but you do it. Look, it takes a bit of time to. <laughs> yeah, I know. I had to say, <laughs> this is strangely addicting. Um, look, it'll take time to download all, all of the um the software needed because it's it's you download Muse Score and then you download the sound packs, and that'll take time and it does take up quite a bit of space, but it's totally worth it. <clears throat> um. What was it? Oh, yeah, it's symphony. Where's my... <coughs> and we bring in... <coughs> Hang on a while. Oh, uh, shit, it's... Shouldn't have accents on this thing. Okay. <clears throat> that works. So now. Oh, hang on. Minus a timpani. <clears throat> also, one quick thing. Is this where the phrase... No, I think the phrase starts there. Yeah, so get rid of this tie. It's just bad form. <coughs> tie these notes. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to be making chords. Oh, hang on. Okay, let's just see that chord works. 
Ain't that cool, beautiful? Tell me that doesn't sound. <clears throat> okay. Well, okay, essentially we <clears throat> repeating this up to where though? Up to there. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Right? Bring in the same chords, except make that a fifth. <clears throat> you want to, um, <laughs> it's good practice to, instead of just utilizing the exact same chord, make an adjustment from like a third to a fifth or something. It just makes it more interesting. Um, well, I mean, we can just do this. Okay. <coughs> And uh, we need to do like a... That sounds better, I think. Okay. Uh, but we need our chords also. So um, it's a C to a G, G, is it? To an F. No. Sorry, C to G to C. But what's the chord for this bar? could make this an A minor. <coughs> we could actually do so. Um, I think that's what'll work. <coughs> but if you're gonna do an A minor, you need a um, a C. Is it a C? Yeah, a C. Yeah, it's basically A, C, and E. So. Um, Check if that chord is right. I'm not sure about this. Oh, uh, that's where I'm going wrong. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This has actually got to be a... Off. 
Does that work? Okay, good enough. <clears throat> what what are chords though? Yeah, easy to do that one. Taking a chance of that note. It works. It works. <clears throat> okay, what is our... But it's back to our C. So we'll do this. Well, it's a C over G, if you think about it. So actually make this. Um, And um, well, which means you can't have a third in it if you're going to do a C over G. And then, right? There you can. need to do that yeah that sounds better <clears throat> and then to our straightforward G chord which is and finally our violas get to change uh, no to be a Uh, you know what, put that as a, there, and put that as a, um, B, I think it is. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. The other thing I wish I could do is make this one of those, like, uh, vibrato type things. <clears throat> but we'll have to see. <laughs> okay, let's let's listen to this section just for some context. Okay, we're going to want to do something. Um, Is that right? No. This actually needs to be four. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, let's do this again. Okay. <clears throat> that's very definitely got to be a, a... I mean, that and that. It's going to be piercing. <clears throat> and then we just add on a another measure. Okay. That didn't come out right. Yeah, that should really be a two. I think that's got to be tied. <clears throat> I think... I think this should actually be that. <clears throat> because... I had a feeling there was something off just because of the amount of measures. <clears throat> um, and normally what I would actually do here, I have habits of going dum, dum, ba, ba. but the thing is we already like right at the top of what this thing can actually play. So And I'm going to actually have that go for two bars <clears throat> uh, before we go into the next. Because then that is the first, that's literally the first, um, in the days of classical music, they'd call it a movement. Today we call it a part. That's the first part completed. <clears throat> All right, let's get some chords in for this, shall we? Uh, timpani first. It's just... Timpani goes there. And then once I've put in the chords, we'll be able to listen to this thing from the start just to hear. This needs a crash. This needs a crash. I'm going to add an uh, instrument in right now. Um, percussion. Symbol. Okay. <coughs> 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 
<clears throat> this is going to be served well with a symbol. All we need is a... So what you get, play from here. Okay, we'll tune the timpani in a second. Okay, so we haven't done the um, harmony in the French horns yet, and we haven't done the, I think, let's do the chords first. <clears throat> I just want to quickly double check something because I'm not sure. Okay, so up until now, it's all been tuned correctly. Um, sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> okay, um, this is just a C. No, it's not a C. This is actually... B, A, G, I think it's F, but well, we'll see now. Yep, it's F. So, there we go. <clears throat> Oh, wait, hang on. Take off our... of that. And I want to give it a bit more um, of a fuller sound. So instead of an F here... Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um and then you make this your F, I think. Well This, uh, um, does that rot? Oh, <clears throat> that that works well. Not gonna lie, that chord. Sometimes you, this is, it, to me, this has always been like cooking a meal where sometimes you put a couple of things together that just happen to taste, or it's like making a cup of coffee. You know, sometimes, most times coffee is good, but it's, you know, but occasionally you'll make a cup that's actually like phenomenally good. That's what happens sometimes to me. <clears throat> and I'm going to hold on to this chord for a while, so... Okay. That works. <clears throat> the only issue is We can actually do the same. 
<clears throat> Let me show you guys another trick you can do. I want to, you know what, actually, actually. No, hang on. <clears throat> That's what we're doing. That's our base night. But we need... Okay, the thing is... Okay, this. Is another F, I think. Then what the heck? C oh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um I was going to do that trick. Um, okay, I need I need context. Let's listen from here. Yeah. Imagine if you will. <coughs> okay. Do this. Uh, Accept. G. Mm. I was hoping that bass chord, bass note would work, but it doesn't. We keep that at where it is. And then our C chord. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to point out why I left out these notes here. It's an important reason. Mm. 
Uh, C B A G. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna hope those are the correct notes. So the point is, you're building up and building up and building up, all right? To get that last little bit of build up, the trick is to pull out your bass. Now, the idea is when you come in with the with the C, uh, see, because this is the same chord. This chord here are, um, is the same chord as that. So we pull out our bass for the first half, bring it back in, and that's, it just helps build it up even more and this is what it sounds like. Hopefully this has worked. <clears throat> okay, it didn't really have the effects uh, uh, that I was hoping for. Because of that. There we go. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> now, the only thing left to do is harmonization with the French horns. So, this is the tough part. Okay, so what we do. I just want to listen to the French horn, to the um, trumpets. Didn't work. That's what it should have been. Uh, whenever we do, we've got to double up because these French horns are not very loud. I think I want to do a fifth here. <coughs> Um, I think <clears throat> this is difficult. Like I said, this I've got to use my ears. We could go. Okay, let's just. Okay, I just don't like this chord here. I just don't like this chord. Okay, that could work. There 
never done. And then our final blast. That's not going to work. Okay, this is either going to work beautifully or it's going to sound terrible. All we know is that that is our final chord. So we can... Yellow notes, by the way, means that we need to be careful because we're getting pretty close to the... Oh, it works. The only reason, by the way, that my trumpets are playing the melody now is because I won't be able to reach those notes with our French horns. Although I'm tempted because the French horns are getting drowned out of it because our trumpets are having to play so loud. Okay, let's listen to this from the start. I think we do have something. <clears throat> Let's just say this. We need a name for this, by the way. <laughs> if anyone has any ideas for a name for this piece. For now, I'm going to call it... Um, I've already got a piece called Celebration. I've got a piece called Victory. So I'm running out of synonyms for, this, for that type of deal. No, I think I'm going to call it... Um, <clears throat> Anthem. That's kind of what this was intending to be, in any case. Okay. So let's us go to the start and let's listen to what we've got. Before we do that, I just had an idea. Check us out, all right? <coughs> oh, hang on, I need to copy and paste this. because oboe is quite a piercing to this. And we'll even put it into clarinets. Just, you know what we should do? That's actually the wrong thing to do. That should be in strings. <clears throat> we really should actually be putting this into... Um, there. Okay, <clears throat> from the start, and then we'll decide. This is, of course, not a not a final product by far. I mean, this is only the first section, but not to mention the fact I'm probably going to, well, I will at some point go through and polish it. Okay, from the start, <clears throat> if there's anyone still here, this is what we've got. Um, give me one second. <clears throat> Okay, this is what we've got so far. If there is anybody who's still yeah, awesome. Okay, you can tell me what what you think.
Oh, I'm so grateful that this part, these two bars worked so well. <clears throat> so you see what I'm saying, how by cutting out, <coughs> I may even leave the base from here, I don't know. I might take these bases out later. But you, you see how by pulling out your lower frequencies, to use um, t technical terms, how it can, it can reestablish. Like suddenly when you get to this bar here, it has so much more impact. The only thing missing from this, which we might as well add in, is dynamics. <coughs> Very important. Um, where, okay, I'm going to run through this and add in where I think it's needed. That's fine. <clears throat> I think I think we can put in a uh, I need pellets. I need a Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, look, I don't need, like, I'm not expect, ex expecting um, technical feedback. But just basically, if you notice that there's a chord that sounds awful, for instance, would would be great. But it's uh, totally up to you. I mean, how how deep you actually want to get into this. <clears throat> I want this section to be louder. I wonder if we can't do this. Um, that. So now you end up with a... No, I think what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I think I want, when it peaks close to the end, it was a bit harsh. You shorten some notes. Uh, what, you mean right at the end of this, at the end of the piece, you, so at these notes here. Oh, that's because our... Uh, You mean these last two uh, bars? Oops, these last two bars. Oh, no. So what you mean is... It does sound harsh. I'm wondering what I can do about that. What I might end up doing is swapping the trumpets and the French horns, because French horns is not a harsh sound. This note, yeah. <clears throat> well, what we can do, and this is a bit of, um, the metaphor would be uh, metagaming, but in a the context of music, <clears throat> we can put a, um, <clears throat> there is a, I forget what it is now, but there is a symbol you can use that basically says that note played a little quieter. It's the same as putting a, a formata on the end to make them it play longer. This is it ornaments. No. Nope. 
Articulations probably. <clears throat> I might have to Google this. Unstress? See if that does it. No, I don't think that changed anything. But you're right, because this is not the end of the piece. Maybe what we do... Okay, let me just quickly do some thinking because we've we s you started on MP. If we crescendo, which is the plan is to crescendo, is it? Uh, yeah, this part. We're going to have very loud trumpets if I do that. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make that a crescendo. So you end up with this feel. you said our trumpets are going to be crazy so <clears throat> we're going to actually set our trumpets to like a p <laughs> that should work oh uh, no wait hang on hang on hang on that's not the right one Okay, that's fine so far. Why can you suddenly not hear the trumpets? That's interesting. Okay, change of plans. <clears throat> We're going to start this on like, I think what we've got to do. You know what, I wonder if the longer the crescendo mark, the louder it, well, of course the louder it gets. And that might be what's the problem is. I think, <clears throat> and there'll be a maximum volume that the trumpets can play. Dynamics is always like it's, it's never easy, is what I'm saying. Um... <clears throat> it's never easy. But uh, so basically, the first section is fine. Second section... Alright, this is the end of the first section. I think... What we've got to do is this. I think, I honestly think we've got to do that. So that now. Oh, wait, hang on. Wrong bar. I meant to put it here. So you end up with a. <clears throat> oh my god. No, wrong. <clears throat> I'm going to put the crescendo in when we bring in the rest of the strings here. So, which is to say at the end of this part. Oh, 
the other thing to fix, of course, is that it's going into this... I don't know, it feels like it's going into this way too fast. But the point is... Okay, it's at this point I want to bring it back down. I really want to at this, so we'll <coughs> do that. Okay. There we go. <coughs> See? And then crescendo here. I wonder, you know what, I wonder, did we bring this down to, um, and then we'll work on that piercing, okay. Got an idea. Got an idea. <clears throat> I just realized. Check this out. Oh, that comes out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, right. Because we've got a swap. Let's put that there for now. I wonder if it'll let me do this. No. Okay. So, this should get rid of the... Okay, we'll fix the dynamics in a minute. Let's just get rid of all this for now. <clears throat> and then it shouldn't be nearly as sharp, because now the French horns are doing what the trumpets were doing. Okay, so let's have a listen. Okay, <clears throat> the only thing is that these strange horns are not loud enough now, so we get sneaky. That's sounding better. And then we just need to <clears throat> all that's left is our crescendo. Oh that might be getting a bit loud. 
that might be the okay, French horns might be getting a little bit piercing now, but I think that might be better. It's not as high pitched as the trumpets. Actually, I think. You put the crescendos in there. <clears throat> and then listen to this. I don't know, I think that's sounding good. I think it's less piercing. I think anyway, um, but yeah. I'll obviously go through and polish it again. It's just isn't from the start. One more time and then I'm gonna probably call this. <coughs> Find someone to raid. What the heck is going on here? Nah, no worries at all. No worries at all. <clears throat> okay yeah let's listen once more from the start and then we will call it because i've been online for like nearly two hours now all right so and this is now with the dynamics added in I can't, I can't, I can't. I've got to fix something young. That's too sudden of a crescendo. <clears throat> uh, that's going to bug me to no end. <laughs> um... Okay, all right. Once more from the start. From the start. <clears throat> all right, let's go. There we go. I still feel like that's coming in too quickly, but we'll polish that later. <clears throat> Okay. 
<clears throat> the only problem I have is that the second part's coming a little bit too quickly. Is it from here? No, I think it's... Um, it's this part here. It's this part when it gets to... No, it must be the other part. There's a part where I feel like we need an extra bar. I'll have to find it off stream and, and fix it. But there's a, there is, guarantee you, maybe it's here. I'm, uh, by the way, what's going on here? That's not right. Like there should, this should actually be. We've got two French horns for a reason. We don't need to. That's what it should be like. All right. Yeah. I feel like we might end up extending this crescendo for like the whole thing. I think, but that's something we'll have to see. All right, so let's save and find someone to raid. I am tired, quite frankly. <coughs> um, I'd really appreciate it if you did join me. It really helps. Well, it helps the streamer that I'm raiding and helps me as well, even if you're only in the next stream for like five seconds. <coughs> <laughs> Who do we want to raid though? That's the question. I know who we're going to raid. <coughs> um, friend of mine, they who are mod for. Um. <coughs> No, that's, yeah, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. The name is um, April S S T. She does Sims. <coughs> so that's my raid message. Um, I need to create more emotes. All right, I'm going to go to my goodbye screen, but thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Next time, we'll carry on with this piece. <coughs> and usually it takes me three streams to finish it. A uh, uh, um, piece of uh, music, and then I usually do the final polishing off stream because that part's boring. Just you know, back and forth and back and forth and adjusting, making micro adjustments can be boring to watch. So I usually do that part off off stream. But um, no, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, this will end up on the my YouTube channel and in the Discord server that I'm a part of for anyone to use. All right, I'm going to go to my goodbye screen. Thanks so much. Cheers. Mm -hmm.